and foul him off, and then we'll see if that off-speed pitch lands. 21st pitch of this at bat is heading towards second is McMillan, and she successfully steals. Coming home is Green, and it's 1-0 Hokies here in the bottom of the first. And the base running for Virginia Tech is definitely something that teams have to have a game plan for. You see that rain start to pick up a little bit. The 2-2 from Lemley is swung on on the ground. Peckmas handles it over Rose, fires over to first, and it is not in time. Shields crosses home plate. Jackson advances to third, and we are tied at one apiece here in the top of the second. Shortstop position. As we're in a rundown here. Trying to make the grab, and successfully making it is Chatfield to end the inning. And that's really the confidence that Virginia Tech has in their bats, that they're not worried about giving up that run. They're going for the out to end the inning. 1-2 home is swung on and lifted in the air to left field. Looking back is the left fielder, La Violette, and that ball's on Beamer way. A two-run home run for Kylie Aldridge puts the Hokies back on top, 3-2. It to makes Kylie Aldridge's fifth home run of the season. All smiles there for Virginia Tech, and that's the great thing about Virginia Tech's hitters having so much power is they can get back in a game with just one powerful swing. I mean, that is a beautiful swing on time. The legs that she's putting power behind that ball, a little bit low, a little bit outside of the plate. Tap to third. Peck's got it. Throw to first. In time. Just an impeccable athletic play by Bree Peck. There's a velocity change, right, with Dunning. So focus on one velocity. Ritter belts this one to left. And that one is out of here. Emma Ritter, a solo shot to left. Four to two, Virginia Tech here in the bottom of the fifth. And that one's a no doubter going all the way out to Beamer way there behind Tech Softball Park. A danger zone for cars to be crossing right now. A lot of traffic coming through Blacksburg. <laughs> so a, a great sit back here by Emma Ritter. She holds back that power. And then see that fast bat speed. That's something with Ritter and, and, and really up and down the Virginia Tech lineup is their power is coming from that quick bat speed. A little into center field somewhat. 2-2 Two -two home swung on again, left field side. And that ball is off the foul pole. Michelle Chatfield goes yard. A three-run homer, her 16th of the season. Virginia Tech is up 6-2. to two. Just further solidifying her spot in the record book with that freshman home run record. But what a great back-to-back -back pitch there, making that small adjustment from the foul ball. And that adjustment is keeping her hands a little bit more inside of the ball. 1-0 to the third baseman, is swung on, and that's down over the left field line. Corralling it is Guyrie, rounding third and coming home is McMillan. And Peck's got an RBI stand-up double. It's 7-2 Virginia Tech. So close at 3-2, now 7-2. As Fagan skies this one to center, that ball is out of here! Cameron Fagan, a two-run bomb. The Hokies have stayed patient throughout this game, really just waiting for their bats to wake up and explode, and we've definitely seen that here in this bottom of the fifth inning. I mean, patient, waiting back. Again, just a textbook swing she knows immediately. The way you see that bat flip, Cam Fagan knows immediately that one's gone. You can just feel it in your hands sometimes with that contact as well. Anybody in this lineup is dangerous. And Belts this one. No doubt about that one. It's on Beamer way. Michelle Chatfield, her second home run of the game, 17th of the season. Well, what we're seeing here with Virginia Tech's entire team celebrating at the plate is something we don't see very often. Usually they're, you know, kind of hanging back by the dugout, and you know, of course they're they're excited for their teammates. But now home runs have become kind of commonplace. But to to end the game. Their mark in ACC play to 15 and two. They swept Virginia Tech. That ball is tagged out to left field, and it is out of here. 
Jordan Stevens steps up and delivers a two-run bomb to give BC the lead. Well, we talked to Coach Cavillhog this week, and she said the bottom of the lineup, I've been shuffling around because I'm just waiting for someone to step up. Rip the opposite way, and that gets past it. Diving Guyry into left. Aldridge into second, and Virginia Tech has its first run. Fagan scores all the way from first on the ribby double by Aldridge. Another payoff to the opposite field. Coming on with a basket catch, Stevens. She's been the hero offensively and defensively so far. And 0-2. Oh Got underneath this one to center field. Ritter gives it a look, and it's out of here. Second home run of the game for Jordan Stevens. She is inferno hot. What a hunch by her head coach, Amy Cavillhog. This is your eight hole hitter with two home runs. This is a two strike swing. That pitch is up out of the zone. She has no business getting this pitch. And she is 0 for 2 today. Driven, right field, down for a base hit. One run scores. Here comes the second. It's in there. And Virginia Tech is within one. Fagan. Base hit right field. One run scores. Peck comes around as well. Fagan's in there on second. Virginia Tech takes the lead in what's been a magical fifth inning for them this series. And she has left the yard twice. Bouncer right side, that is through. Fagan getting the go ahead, and she's in there as the throw gets away. Three straight hits from Virginia Tech, and they have stormed out in front of Boston College in the fifth. So this game is by no means out of hand. If that base hit up the middle is going to score at least one, it's going to score two. A seven-run fifth inning now for Virginia Tech. Now Bunch shown down to third. They're going to steal another run at home. Ani Rose comes in. One, two. Deep drive. Center field. Ball game. Corey McMillan's grand slam, the exclamation point. The first time that Virginia Tech has ever swept a three-game ACC series all by run rule.